Hello and welcome back. Well, if I'm asked a question, I'll always try to answer it. Hopefully this will. In this video, I'm going to be showing you in a bit more detail how I can attach my Sony Handycam to the back of a rifle scope. The materials in front of me are what I would use. I use this two pack epoxy glue that I've found on Amazon. This is the camera that I use, although there are other, there's lots of other cameras that you can get. I, I chose this one because it's very, very light. It's 217 grams with the battery, uh, everything all fitted in it. So a nice light camera. You don't want something really heavy hanging on the back of your scope. Some step up, step down rings. Uh, this is what you'll glue to the Butler Creek style uh, lens cap and also to the front of the camera that will give you the attachment that you'll need to put your camera on the back of the scope so this is the glue that I use this is actually meant for bedding in a rifle um, mechanism into the stock so it sets like iron as long as all your surfaces are clean and dry so the next item that you're going to need is a matched pair of step up and step down rings. Unless you're really lucky and you can find a camcorder that already has a thread on the inside of that lens aperture, you are going to need to find the step up, step down rings in order to glue one on the front face of the camera and the corresponding one to that ring on the rear of the Butler Creek style flip up lens cover that will eventually go onto the back of your scope. Now I bought a set off of eBay and as you can see there's loads of different ones here and I think there was about 12 different pairs in the set. Now there's one obviously as a pair that I've already fitted onto there, onto that one. There's also another pair that I fitted onto another rear scope cover mount. Um, that was for uh, a Burris scope that I used to have so I've got a spare one there providing it um, that will fit onto another scope so again that's that's exactly the same that goes on there so I can use the same camera on two different scopes now these rings obviously they come as match pairs uh, so you would end up gluing one to the front of the camera and the other corresponding one to the rear of the Butler Creek style flip up lens. Now, uh, if you do it, glue it that way so the flat face goes onto the camera, you're always going to have a smaller male thread on the end that goes into the uh, scope cover, which is really handy because it will then self centralize into the center of that ring. So, gluing it on is really easy. What you must do is clean all of the paint off of these facing edges. Uh, it's nice shiny sort of Teflon style paint get rid of that with some emery cloth and then get a good clean um, roughened up surface for gluing that to both the camera and also to uh, the lens cap once you've done that um, it's really just a case of screwing those together as I did with that on there and then that pushes straight onto the rear of the scope it's as simple as that so this is again is a close-up picture of the sort of uh, lens cap you're looking for. Obviously you'd remove the flip-up part and just use the rubber mount. Uh, but the Creek provide you with a very good size chart. So that's the reason I went for one of those. So the moment of truth is after every item of glue is dry and you're happy that everything is centralised on there. It's the, it's the final fitting of your camera to the back of your scope. It's a two-handed job. Please don't just try and push it on with one hand because uh, if the rifle is unsupported, you're gonna end up with a very expensive mess on the floor. So uh, free hand on the back of the scope, just a gentle push, uh, trying your best to make sure this is vertical, uh, obviously because that will affect the view that you get through your screen. So a nice gentle pe push onto the back of the scope and that's it, you notice it doesn't uh, sag or doesn't drop and then all of your viewfinding then is done through the lens on the scope now this is where it gets complicated for me because uh, I have to wear glasses for close-up reading so I'm quite happily I can see stuff uh, without glasses at a distance and I, I then have to uh, reacquire that um, 
target uh, within this scope. That's why sometimes it gets a little bit jerky. Um, so once again, I can only apologize for that. Younger eyes will have no problem at all and it'll be a breeze for them. So once you've got this all set up, it's then really just a case of really small movements to line up the, the image in the screen there. So it looks the same as you would expect if you're looking through the scope with your eye. So it's just a question of making sure everything's square and the camera is looking down the center of the scope. You'll probably need to zoom up the uh, camera just a little bit to lose what I call the toilet roll effect. So the actual image is just what you would um, expect to see. You don't see any lines or circles on the outside. Once that's all done, uh, I always leave my camera on autofocus. That seems to work okay on that, um, both on the crosshairs and on the target uh, that you're aiming at. Once that's all um, sorted and you're happy, you can then you can zoom the scope up to do closer up shots if you wish to. And really, that is as simple as that. Um, there are other methods of uh, attaching GoPro style cameras to the sides of scopes, but they in fact steal some light. So you're not going to get 100% of light back into the camera like you do with this. There, some of them are 60 40, so you would see 40% of the light through the image that you're viewing through the viewfinder, and the other 60% would go to the camera. So they're prone to um, bad light levels. I know this was this particularly was a bad light level on the last video I did, but if, you, if you're shooting it in low light, you haven't got any lights, you make the best of what you've got. Um, and that's what I try to do. So um, again, I say it's a cheap and easy option. I know there's a lot of youngsters that are gonna get um, rifles and scope kits for Christmas, because we sold quite a few in the shop. So if they've got an old camcorder at home, uh, what better than to do a bit of filming of target shooting with um, your mates or your dad. So hopefully that's been uh, of use to you. I know I've, I've done this video, especially because a chap um, in the States had asked me how to do it. So uh, have that as a Christmas present for me and uh, all the best wishes to you. And I look forward to seeing you all again in the new year. In the meantime, it's cheerio from me. I'll see you later. Well, I hope that was useful. Uh, I've always been pestering uh, Robin from Team Foxer for tips and advice. So please don't be frightened to ask uh, if I can help. I always will do. Uh, as I said just then, have a great Christmas and I'll see you in the new year. Cheerio.